Ilya going in for Davies, I would assume? He is, yeah. And up front, anything, any change? No change up front, so just Labushkin for Davies and everything else the same. Go ahead. I think Tage has already exceeded his power play goal total from last year. Is there anything you've noticed that's led to such consistency from that, that one-timer spot? Uh, the entire unit. I think the emergence of Darlene, um, the addition of Tuck, uh, Skinner just keeps getting better. Um, Cousins has shifted into that unit and done a really nice job. So, you know, you when you have a guy that's as scoring as prolific as, as Tage is, you have a penalty kill that's going to focus on that. And because of those other guys, they can't just focus on that uh, and the ability of the others to execute. Um, and, and that's really a big, big key. I mean, Tej, we all know, keeps himself ready to play, prepared for opportunity. Uh, but it's, it's the other four that, that command enough respect uh, that they can't just seal off Tej. He names, he's named second star again this week. I mean, what is it about the makeup that all this increased attention, not just media, but other teams and everything, his game continues to evolve and it doesn't seem to deter from his game at all? The same thing that made him persevere to this point, the characteristics and attributes. He, he's uh, relentless in preparation. Uh, he is ultra competitive. Um, you know, in, in between games, is, 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 he's extremely focused on uh, preparing and peaking for the next game out to, to, to exceed uh, what he's done and build upon what he's built. And uh, that is why we had no problem uh, with re-signing him to a, a long-term contract uh, because of those attributes. Um, so, uh, you know, what he's doing is just through innate, you know, character traits that he, he brings to the rink every day. What goes into giving Cal Clay a look on the power play, and wh what have you seen this stint from him compared to the first stint? Well, you, you, it's, it's always opportunity. So, you know, the opportunity is now available because we're missing Owen Power. Uh, we're missing Henry Yokoharu, who would be next in line, and we're missing Jacob Bryson, who would be next in line. Uh, so now Clay Cal has that opportunity, and he's done a great job with that opportunity. He's got a uh, very, very uh, conducive skill set to that. He's mobile, agile at the point. Uh, he, he thinks pretty well offensively, and uh, he's obviously getting to know us and our guys better and better uh, each day he's here, and um, it's a pretty nice pretty nice to have him uh, with those attributes to fill in while we're uh, you know fairly depleted back there. And understandably, Darlene and Samuelson got most of the attention in Colorado, but Clegg was out there 23 minutes that night too. I mean, how key has he been on this trip given the injuries that you've had? Yeah, he, he has been key, and he's a player uh, that is, uh, he's a younger guy, and you see that he's able to internalize how we want to play, how we do play. Um, you know, he picks up uh, and adapts to the surroundings of, of our group and what's asked of him. So he's progressed from training camp on continually. There's, there's never not been progression, and uh, tonight I would assume the same. Um, and that's through, it's not only through good situations, a lot of time it's through just quick errors or quick mistakes. He's able to, uh, you know, recalibrate and, and uh, fix it, correct it right away and, and learn from that experience. And um, that's probably the biggest uh, reason why he's been able to progress the way he has since uh, the start of the year. It's like to have a guy like Lebushkin who plays as hard as he does and has such a laid back demeanor. It doesn't seem to like match up with guys that play his it, You know, he's, he's a really special person. Even today, um, when I told him he, he's, he's going to play, the first words out of his mouth were, were, were thank you. Um, he's a guy that uh, just has a deep love for his team and his teammates, uh, passion for playing for his team. Um, and the way he plays is, is obviously something that uh, we – Targeted as a need, as a as a as a want in the off season, playing physical, gritty, but but a big body that's strong. Um, but you know he's he is uh, you know the the things that you would not be able to pick up at home watching him. Um, you could rate him a ten in a lot of those categories. As I mentioned, you know you you tell him he's in the lineup tonight. The first response is thank you, very, thank you, coach. So uh, pretty impressive guy.